welcome to Walking with a Challenge. Okay, so today we're going to go for a walk at the Hemant Quarry Reserve. And it's a very nice walk, as you'll see in a minute. But uh, basically, it's a certain, it's a nice circuit. And you'll see how this could probably be something you can do later on. As you can see, the car park is right next to it. Just before we start the walk, you can even have a seat and prepare for the walk. But having a car park just outside the walk there is a quite a handy little feature to have. This walk is in the middle of a suburbia area here at Hammond. It is very isolated, so it's a good idea to always come along with somebody uh, to go with you. And that's just for safety for yourself. But also if you if you require any assistance, because you might have a bit of a walking challenge. I do it for all those reasons, but also to keep me company as well. My wife comes with me as well and we just enjoy the company and we get to have a chat and they just enjoy the walk together as you can see here we're going to come up to this little post and it does tell you it is wheelchair friendly so now here this this splits up into the left and the right and we're going to go to the right i'm going to go through this side here and you'll see that it's a little bit of an incline i want to work on my stamina and i want to work on my fitness a little bit so I'm going to give this one a go and see how I go. I could definitely feel the incline along the way. The actual track is still pretty even. Obviously, it's not fully flat because it's got a bit of an incline for me. Uh, and this is uh, when we took the right hand side of that intersection. When I say even, I meant to say that um, the track is sealed and it's not loose gravel or anything like that. So yeah, I am struggling a little bit with this little incline, but I must admit I like this particular walk because it is a gentle incline for me and I feel that I need to start working on a bit of cardio for me, which is a little bit hard to do because of my challenges that I've got around that area as well of my, of my, my heart. So this is a very gentle incline for me and because I want to work on a little bit more on my fitness, I find that this walk is actually quite perfect to achieve that. Another thing I'm enjoying about this walk is the birds just chirping away all around you at this time of the year. The actual walking track seems to be uh, well shaded as well. It's quite a nice time of the year that we went to as well. Again, back in May, but also it was uh, in the middle of the afternoon or well, actually it was about 3 o'clock p.m. What's interesting to note is that whenever you choose a particular way of a walk you got to remember that even though it is probably easy going down it you just got to remember that if you're gonna if you're doing the, the circuit the reverse way you got to come back up the same way so it's gonna be of an incline so this time around we actually took the right hand side as I've been telling you all along that we took the right hand side turn this particular way that I'm showing you right now as you can see it's a long way down it's quite nice when you're going up this way because on the walk itself it's going all the way down and if you'd come if you had actually taken the left hand side part of the walk you would have been coming up this incline and this particular incline here is fairly long even though it's a little bit of, a bit of an incline, it's still a very long incline to walk up to. So from the beginning of the walk from the car park, there hasn't been a single seat along the way until you get to this spot here where you can actually have a bit of a stopover and just have a picnic if you've got some food in your, in your backpack and just have a look at the water there while you're enjoying your picnic. It's a quite a nice area where you can have a bit of a picnic. As you can see, there's more seats there and also there's a bit of a nice open area there. You can have a bit of a game with the kids if you come with the kids. Also, over this way, we're going to turn left and we're going to keep going the path, down the path. And you will come across, as you walk further down here, down the track, you'll see Wynnum Road. If I were you, I wouldn't access the walk through there because it is a main road and the only way to get through that entry is to actually pull over from the main road 
onto a little strip there you can come in through that area there but it's not safe so I would suggest you follow the instructions from the very beginning of the video and park on the actual car park designated area on the other side so here now we've come across to another seat so there's been a fair bit of seating areas along the way on this walk and over this way here now you can have a bit of a picnic if you want to come to the second seat and have a bit of a rest and have a look at the water there uh, and just catch your breath before you keep going along the circuit I'm very happy with this walk the track is very sealed and it has different points where you exert yourself a little bit just enough to do a bit of cardio work on it for you but for me it's a great walk to do just remember when you're coming out for a walk if you're going to follow the track that I've showed you here just be mindful that I do it all at my own pace when you start doing your own walks you will discover your own pace you will discover what hurts <laughs> and what doesn't and most importantly you will discover what you're available what you're able to do your limits for timing your limits for strength your limits to psychologically what you can do sometimes we think we can do more than what we can, what we can actually physically do and that's something that we all need to realize when we are having challenges with walking or, or any other sort of challenges in our lives is that we need to learn what our limits are and it's not easy because especially when you come from having a normal life in the past and now you've got to adjust to a new norm it's always a little, a little bit difficult to adjust so remember do your own race don't worry about what other friends are doing with the same situation as you don't worry about what you cannot do today because you gotta remember that as you build your stamina you will be able to more, do more tomorrow in the next day and the following day also something to remember too is that we that people that have walking challenges like myself and, and you if you're listening and agree that you might have a walking challenge we cannot have a regimented routine where we go to walks every day uh, we would like to but the reality is that sometimes we feel down a bit or because our energy levels are down or psychologically or emotionally you might not be feeling well but you know just just be aware that it's not a thing where you do every day hey if you can do it every day that's fantastic do it but just be aware that as long as you can get out there and make an effort to do it once a week it makes a big deal for your recovery for your ongoing situation for, that you have I don't know what it is but with me it's it's a, a perpetual physical fitness problem that I've got to keep working at and make sure that I build my muscles back up and my strength back up okay so we've come pretty much to the end of the walk I'm very satisfied with the walk it was fairly flat there were some inclinations there but they were they were fine for me the walk went for about 22 minutes the distance was about one and a half kilometers just remember to park at the Fleming Road entry that would be the safest way to park and start the circuit come and check our channel regularly so you can see what kind of walks we have there might be a walk or two that might interest you or that you haven't thought about doing and just to get moving and get started to do some sort of exercise this channel walking with a challenge is an initiative from our website changinglungcancer.com I know that sometimes having a walking challenge can sometimes stop you from getting out there and doing some sort of activity so come and check the channel there might be something here for you one day and uh, it might get you to go out there and go for a bit of a walk and a bit of an activity it, it, Brisbane is a beautiful area and there's a lot of things you can do even if it's just slow and, and take your time but come out there and join our, our walk uh, come and join us in our channel have a look what's here for you and it's just important to remember that there's people out there like you that are walking with a challenge